Hey, hello there. Today I'm looking at the question 703, case largest element in a stream. Uh, we need to design a class to find the case largest element in a stream. Uh, it should rather be, we should design a class where we can s efficiently support uh, the case largest element query for a stream. Uh, so uh, note that it is the case largest element in a sorted order, not the case distinct element. The difference is that uh, for case largest element, uh, in the sorted order, there are exactly k numbers that we care about. Uh, but if it's the case distinct element, uh, there are uh, there could be potentially duplicates among the top k. So uh, the number of elements we should keep track of uh, can can vary. So since it's a stream, basically uh, there whenever we accepting a new element coming to the stream, uh, the answer for the case largest element uh, will potentially change. Uh, if it's uh, the, if the newcomer is uh, less than the current top k, uh, the current uh, case largest, uh, we can just discard the newcomer because it will never be uh, the case largest. Uh, but if the newcomer is larger than the uh, current case largest, we will discard the, the current uh, case largest and insert the newcomer and uh, look into the k elements there and try to promote uh, the current uh, the updated uh, case largest one. Uh, to, to be on the on the front, so uh, using a, a priority queue with a fixed size k can be uh, very efficiently supporting this kind of operation. The uh, if we do have to do the update, it's going to be log k, so it's uh, it's very fast. Um, so the here are some other inf additional information. Uh, the constructor will be able to accepting k. That's the capacity of the uh, priority queue and uh, uh, integer array numbers. That's the uh, the initial kind of uh, content in the stream. And, and so we just basically call the add operation on all the numbers there uh, one at a time. Uh, the main part is to uh, support this add operation, which is uh, to uh, add a newcomer to the string and potentially update uh, the case largest. Yeah, so that's uh, pretty much it. Uh, we're just going to use a uh, priority queue. Uh, it's going to be a mean main uh, priority queue. So the front element is the minimum among the uh, largest k. So it's uh, the k's largest. So um, yeah. So uh, if we want to find uh, maintain the k largest, uh, the the gatekeeper to this, uh, uh, you know, the club of uh, big big guys is actually the smallest. So it's a main priority queue. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to copy my uh, priority queue class. Um, th this is in my notes uh, in the, on GitHub. You can use Python keep queue as well. Uh, mine is not as efficient as uh, Python's implementation, but mine has a little bit more flexibility. So uh, that's why I'm using it. <laughs> Okay, so uh, in the constructor, we want to remember the key, uh, remember the key. We want to initialize this uh, priority queue. Um, so just peek into my constructor of the priority queue. I'm accepting a comparator. Well, if we want a mean priority queue, we type in comparator equal to mean. So that's default. Uh, we can. Uh, uh, we can also supply some data, but it will use all those data to construct the priority queue. So for this uh, problem, we want to, that to have size k. So instead of that, we are actually, actually going to do the on queue k times, uh, or rather the add operation k times. Um, so you know, just ev leave everything empty. So you will have a empty priority queue uh, where the comparator is the mean. So it's a mean priority queue. Um, Yeah, so that's uh, pretty much the constructor. Then it's this uh, uh, add operation. Obviously, after each uh, addition, we want to return the front. And uh, the the condition is that uh, we do we do two kinds of checking. If the priority queue uh, has not reached the capacity yet, we definitely want on queue the value. Uh, the other case where we want on queue the value is that. Uh, uh, the value is larger than the gatekeeper, so it's bigger than the smallest uh, among the top k. Uh, so that's uh, and. 
And after we potentially do some updates, we want to check uh, have we reached the capacity. Uh, if we reach the capacity, you know, we have more than K, we have to throw out uh, the smallest. Yeah, so that's uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, if we use a priority queue, this uh, this question is pretty simple. Let's try run some test cases. Uh, up it uh, case largest has no attribute k. Oh, sorry. So obvious question. My daughter is disturbing me. <laughs> you, you couldn't hear. Uh, geez. Better guess through yet. I have to go to attend her. So yeah, that's the that's the question 703 uh, case largest element in a stream or using priority queue. So the out operation is uh, log k, uh, uh, and uh, that that's only when we do have to on queue or d queue. Uh, if uh, um, if the value is small, uh, that we don't trigger any of this, so it will be just constant. Uh, so yeah, so that's that's the this question.